yes, I'm going to tell you how to talk to anyone, anytime, anywhere. And this is not a secret. Anybody can do this. The only thing is that you got to be, you know, willing to take action and you got to be, you know, open to trying new things, right? And I've been trying my uh, and experimenting new things and different things with my social skills for many years, especially when I was doing public interviews and I was, you know, approaching women, all these type of things. So I've tried a lot of things. And recently, even when I was on my road trip, I went from LA to Miami, it was like a long road trip. So I was able to go through so many different locations, so many different states. I was able to see so many different kind of people, different uh, cultures and traditions. And I, I observed a lot of things. And during those times, I did a social skills challenge, which was talking to 25 new people every single day. And I had to talk to them for a bit. And I just had to do it because if I didn't do it, I had to do 500 push-ups, right? So it was a challenge given by this YouTuber named Hamza. I asked him and he gave me the challenge and I completed it, right? And the moral of the story is that whenever I was doing this challenge, I realized a lot of important things about social skills, talking to people. And I was like, you know, this video is something that a lot of people need to hear it. And I was, I'm going to combine my, ex my recent experience on that trip, especially the challenge and also my previous experiences. I'm going to give you some valuable things that you can apply to your social skills life. And I believe you can definitely take it to the next level. But as I said before, you need to take action and not just watch it. Okay. So if you're not going to take action, this video is not for you. Okay. But I'm assuming now that you're watching it, you're going to take action. And the first thing that I'm going to tell you is that one of this is like a principle that applies to like different situations whether it can be business dating um social skills talking to random people but an important thing is to be interesting you must be interested first right so a lot of the times many of us we just want to talk about ourselves right we ignore the other person that every uh, social interaction that we have is just me 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 i i do this i do that and we just completely ignore the other person and we are we are not even listening right but if you really want to take it to the next level, and this is something that I did during the challenge as well, is that I was genuinely interested to see what these people did, how was what was their story, and the more I asked questions, the more deeper I got to like, and they were telling me some crazy stories, and I was like, wow, man, like you really went through it, and you learn a lot of like how people really go through things, and then they they really challenge, they go, they go through challenging stuff, and it really opens your mind, you know, and. My thing is that like you got to be interested in people, right? right? Like if you want to talk to anybody, any girl, any business partner, you got to be interested in what they do, in who they are, how they live, their story, you know, because that's what makes a genuine connection. And whenever you spend a good amount of time actually being interested in them and listening and learning about who, what that person does, who that person is, the connection naturally builds. And later on, they ask about you, like they're like, oh, bro, like, who are you? Like. What is your story? What, have, what are you doing with your life, right? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, when you start becoming interested in their life, naturally, as time goes on, they're going to be realizing, oh, yeah, I've been talking about myself this whole time. So might as well, let me just start talking, like, you know, to you. Let me ask about you, what you do, right? So when you start doing that, they just naturally become more interested, right? So the first step that I'm going to tell you is that be truly and genuinely interested. Don't say something like, fake questions you know just be genuinely interested to see what you can learn from them right another note that i took is that listen more right this kind of kind of goes with the first point but a lot of the times we just don't listen even if you let's just say even if you like pretend you're interested or you're not listening it doesn't matter you have to be caring about what they're saying and you have to be like listening closely like paying attention right you have to be in the present moment and you should like actually see like listen to it properly right like reflect it back to them see like this is also like a very important thing in sales like they reflect reflect back what they heard from the the person that's trying to sell to even in dating right like recently i got into a relationship and the first date like and even the first phone call that i was with well, with her it was just mainly me asking questions getting to know her and just listening right I, like she was like oh i realized i didn't even talk about like you didn't even talk about yourself. It was just me talking, right? And it was like 90% of the conversation, right? Because I was just constantly asking and listening, constantly asking and listening, being interested in another person. And that's the moral of the story, right? Like it applies to dating. It applies to business. It applies to everything else, right? Talking to random people, making friends. Be interested and listen, right? So these are the two things that I, like, I'm going to tell you right now so far. So if you listen, it allows you to on, on be understanding of like who they are and what kind of things they like 
and you can start kind of reflecting things back to them and when you do that you like it just becomes so much easier to build a connection because at the end of the day we are all humans and we, there are so many things that we can connect with different people right like when you find that one thing that you can connect with some some person like it can be anime it can be video games it can be sports it can be business it can be the gym like when you start listening when you start actually asking questions when you find those common grounds and the common interest it becomes so much easier to build a connection with anybody right and when you like when you find those common grounds most other people forget about the differences and they just want to focus on the common ground because they are so passionate about that one thing they just want to listen to you right or they just want to they just want to talk about that one topic to you right so find that common ground find that common interest and build that connection right and when you start listening when you start like being interested you're going to find that you're going to start relating to what they like right so another tip that i'm going to give you is that relate to what they like which kind of goes to the previous top uh, previous tips that i gave you is that relate relate to them be relatable be be yourself but also be relatable right because if you're just like you're just asking questions you want to get to know them but you're not relating to them let's just say for example somebody's going through like you're asking some questions and they're going through like dating problems right they're like they're like oh yeah i broke up with my girlfriend you can share your story you can share your experience you can start asking about them you can kind of you know share ideas in those topics you're like how did you go through it how did you move past it how did you you know um kind of you know help with your mindset and your emotional you know um the emotional problems and stuff like how did you get through it and it's it becomes like so much easier when you find that one thing that you can relate to so when you relate to what they like they start liking you more because you like what they like so i'm going to repeat this to you again pay attention so when you relate to what they like they start liking you because you like what they like okay that's like some bars put it in your notes because people genuinely love and i love when like people like like what i like they like my passions they like my interests it just becomes so much easier to build like a great like conversation with somebody you know when you can bounce off ideas you can bounce off you know thoughts about those topics and opinions even if it's not necessarily agreeing but if you can even like disagree on certain topics it expands your mindset expands your perspective and it's just a beautiful thing right and throughout this trip when i was talking to so many people constantly every single day different times like i talked to homeless people i talked to like freaking uh people that were like you know go through some messed up situations they were like you know broke they made it up they made hella money or they were people who were doing really well they had the house they had like a nice family the, the guy went broke the guy lost his house the guy lost his wife it was just a mess right because I asked these questions and it was like I was talking to these people in different cities different states like I went to Arizona uh, New Mexico Texas Alabama Louisiana Florida like all these states I went to they had a bunch of cities I went to different cities I talked to all these cities you know like in people in from those cities and I genuinely was shocked with the way people lived um, not necessarily shocked in a bad way but like shocked in a surprise way because people do really have different um different lifestyles depending on the culture you're at right um and me being from california and i'm not even from like originally from here i came from iran so i have like a whole different mindset like i'm an immigrant from here and i came here like eight years ago so it's like a whole different story that i'm like wow like the fact that i got to see so many different people from different parts of the world it allows me to really um understand what people go through you know because i've seen so many things um, i've seen people like from like austria like they they just live differently it's just so many different factors that play into people's day-to-day day -day lifestyles and when you talk to people it just allows you to understand okay wow like people really do this people really go through this type of things and one thing i'm going to say is that never overcomplicate it right if you want to talk to somebody just go for it like don't just black at your mind and this kind of goes with like talking to girls too right i used to do this like if i liked the girl i would just go up to her and start talking i wouldn't think what i'm gonna say I just start yapping right and most of the times initially i would just like say some dumb shit, right but the more you do it you start naturally picking up things quickly and you just start saying some crazy things that flow so good depending on the situation i didn't plan anything i would just go up to them i start talking about maybe like their ethnicity maybe their outfits maybe their workouts it was just like things just would flow naturally because i didn't think i would just like find one thing that i would probably think they would be interested and it kind of goes back to like relating to what they like and when you see people putting effort in certain things you know that they like that thing right so if you put your attention to that start talking about those things they naturally become like happier They're like oh my god like somebody notices this right so 
find out the one thing that they you feel like they put a lot of effort into like talk about that um that's a great way to start your conversation right uh, but in general like honestly uh to wrap it up i'm just gonna say like really don't overcomplicate it just go for it like don't don't plan a whole conversation like oh my god i'm gonna say this sentence that sentence this sentence that sentence like a whole script this is not like a cell script you know what i mean so just go naturally just don't think what you're gonna say just decide okay do, do you want to talk to this person yes okay boom the next time you see that person you're just gonna be talking to her not talking to that person and that's it that's so simple don't overcomplicate it and that's all it takes to talk to anyone anytime anywhere that's the genuine principle that I, I learned in my life and i've been doing this and i've met so many people i have never really struggled to connect with people you know what i mean so just do this just apply and let me know how your experience goes and if you have different different experiences different insight from your um, perspective drop it in the comments so the mission of our channel is becoming abundant through excellence and the way we become excellent is you know upgrading ourselves upgrading our mind and bodies and Part of the most important thing of our upgrading ourselves, our own self-development journey is upgrading our physiques, right? So if you're getting into your fitness uh, journey and you want to gain muscle, you want to get jacked, listen, I've been doing this uh, for many years, my own fitness journey, and also I've been coaching people for more than two years. So if you need help, DM me coach on Instagram and I can help you with your fitness journey and we can you know, cover the details later on in messages. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.